아, 아. Talk about a dynamite dish for the football game. Talk about a dynamite dish. Pay attention. This could be a food of love thing for you. It's chicken and sausage gumbo. It doesn't get any simpler than this. Just give me your brains for a few minutes. It's all in the roux. It's all in the roux. And the roux is half flour, half vegetable oil. Hello? <laughs> vegetable oil, flour. Combined in a good gumbo pot. Wooden spoon. Good investment. The key of the roux is to stir the roux and to not have the heat too high. About medium, the heat should be. The biggest problem that people make with gumbo is they got the heat on too low. That's why they have knobs on the stove, folks. <laughs> okay? Mayan right now says medium. It's all stirring the roux. Now, this is not as dark of a roux, although this is a dark roux. If I was making, say, like a duck and wild mushroom gumbo, or if I was making a venison gumbo, rustic, right? I want it a little darker. You don't want to burn it, keep stirring it. Next thing, you got the roux. First layer of flavor, like building a house, the trinity. That is onions, celery, and bell pepper. Okay? Only in Louisiana do you have the trinity. Most places in the world have a maripois which is with carrots, celery, and onions. But in Louisiana, we have Trinity. Now, to the Trinity, the two major <coughs> spices used in this gumbo, in most gumbos, salt, cayenne pepper. That's it. <laughs> Maybe you'll have a little thyme in some but you'll always have a couple of three bay leaves. Okay? Come on, this isn't rocket scientist now here. Now, while that's in there, we're gonna turn the heat up now. Now go ahead and jack it up. Keep stirring it. Now, a lot of people have asked me, what's the essence? This is it. This is how I store it. It's paprika, it's black pepper, it's cayenne pepper, it's salt, it's onion and garlic powder, it's oregano and it's thyme. That's the essence. All blends are different because all spices are different. Just because you buy paprika today doesn't mean it's going to be the same as you did last month. Now, why I'm doing that is because this. I'm going to take some of this essence that we just blended and season my chicken. Because I don't know where you got your chicken where I get mine. It didn't come seasoned. <laughs> now, we're going to add the chicken to, to the roux, to the trinity. See, now I have my own chicken boards. Don't take any chances with the chicken police now. So now you want to brown this chicken 10 minutes, folks. Away we go. Then we're going to add smoked sausage, preferably andouille. Then we're going to add chicken broth or beef broth or whatever you have. Remember what I told you earlier. It's never going to be at its full thickening power until it comes to a boil. 
Is everybody with me? There is a big... <laughs> you bring this up to a boil, you turn it down to a simmer, and you let it simmer covered for about an hour and a half. Let me tell you, you're gonna be a hero. <laughs> you should always serve gumbo with rice. Filet is optional. We'll talk about that in a second. So, that's it. That's gumbo. <laughs> now, when you uh, got these pots on the stove, the game is on. Here's how I like to serve it. Chicken and sausage gumbo. In the bowl? Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, babe. Somebody asked just a little while ago, would I put okra in it? You could put okra in it, but then it would be a chicken, sausage, and okra gumbo. <laughs> so you should always serve it like this. Always with a nice heaping spoon of rice. Always garnish with a little bit of green onions and a little bit of parsley. And then this is filet, ground sassafras leaves, okay? For me, I don't put filet in the gumbo unless I'm making filet gumbo. <laughs> so if I had the chicken sausage and okra gumbo and I added filet, I now would have chicken sausage, okra, and filet gumbo. <laughs> But here's what I do want. I do want to take a little of this and I use it at the table. Just a little, it gives it this very, very unique flavor. Right at the table, you serve that. So there you have it, chicken sausage gumbo, folks. Yeah.